Oh son, today's trending topic of choice. Do not spread yourself too thin. I don't really know where this whole shit comes from of spreading yourself too thin. <laughs> it might be a limiting belief that you might not make it down one avenue you're going after. And like I said, that is just a fucking bullshit ass limited mindset. So, let me use myself as an example. I got a shit ton of discipline, dog. I ain't gonna fucking be one of these humble motherfuckers where it's like, oh, I kinda got some. Nah, dog. I got a shit ton of discipline. Wake up every morning, out five, without an alarm or nothing like that. I put an alarm just to make sure it's pinpoint accurate. Get up, do my shit, work out, make my videos, work construction, come home, make these fucking videos, all this shit. And I have ADHD really, really fucking bad. So, I want, I have all, the, I jump from hobby to hobby, right? Oh, for right now, it's my main hobbies are my music, which is like acoustic guitar, my oil painting, these videos, and carpentry work. Now, that's spreading yourself pretty fucking thin. And that's what I mean by it, is I want this YouTube shit to work out perfect. I want this shit, I, I will have millions of subscribers, I will be making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in the future. I, I know it for a fact. But... I'm, right now, I can admit that I'm spreading myself too thin because I don't have the energy. I have the energy to get it all done. I can get it all done. Like in my last video, squat till your nose bleeds, son. Get your shit done. I can get it done. But the it's the whole thing of quality versus quantity. And honestly, let me draw you an ex example of what I mean by spreading yourself too thin. Let's draw... Two, let me see how well this comes up on the camera. I'm going to draw two big circles. So these two circles right here, each one of them, they represent you, okay? Now, I'm going to draw lines coming from the circles. These lines represent a, a direction, wh however far you can go in an asset. Now, you only have so much line that you can spread out around this circle. So, let's make our first circle where you put all your line, you put all your energy, these lines represent energy, all your energy on one line. So this one thing, it's going up to its fullest potential. But, you take this other circle, let me draw these lines around it, and you divide all that. Now you got the lines where they're not reaching their fullest potential. There's a lot of lines, but they're not up here like this one. This one, this would be represented success. You fucking actually did it in that thing. Those, you half-assed everything, or you didn't have enough energy to do everything correctly. See, let's use these YouTube videos for an example. I have to find some sort of a way to make them better each time. And right now, I'm not able to do that. Some of my videos in the past, they were real, real funny, real artsy. But fuck funny, fuck artsy, son. We on a fucking mission. I'm trying to make you better, and I'm trying to better myself in the process. And that's the goal right now, dog. You gotta think of it. I gotta think of this shit. For me, it's the whole thing is education versus entertainment. It's a bell curve. Education's here, entertainment's here. How far do I want to slide my content? Do I want to be more educational or do I want to make people laugh? Right now, I want to make people educated. I want a generation of strong fucking men bettering themselves by the day with whatever endeavor they're going after. But if I spread myself too thin, then I won't be able to do that. And that's where the whole thing comes from. You can't spread yourself too thin, dog. If you want an aesthetic body, then you can't go work some other job or something like that that's spreading your fucking energy expenditure too thin and you won't achieve that body. Me, right now, I work construction. I can't work out as hard as I can. I could I could probably get up to a fucking 465 squat, maybe 485, maybe 500. 
But right now I'm stuck in the upper 300s, almost at 400, because I don't have enough time to work out. I can't go as hard. I'm kind of running these like little uh, circuit routine workouts where I'm just kind of doing bodybuilding split of a bro split of this body part of day, this party part of day. Now, I've been doing this workout shit for a couple, for years now, so I can go. I can go real in depth on that if anybody out there wants me to. I can tell you what works and what doesn't work. Lost over 150 fucking pounds and I got my deadlift up to over 500 and all these things. So I can give you some fucking practical tips, but I just don't know if that's something people would want. But the main things that I've I've read a lot of books and I've spent the last 2 years of my life buckled down in the gym and absorbing like a sponge all this content books and shit like that and now i'm just trying to synthesize it out to you people so you can make a realization but today you really need to focus on are you you need to be self-aware to realize am i spared myself too thin me i just told you how i'm doing it and i'm working on getting away from that i have to get a couple things i have to spend like fucking five grand to make a to get a couple things to make my time easier so I have more time but that's like I said this diagram will show it perfectly and let's get back to the topic of where does this come from of spreading yourself too thin on purpose and I'm not entirely talking about making money and doing this because you have to make money you have to make money to fewer things I used to be one of these little hippie pussies where I was like, oh, I don't need money and fucking $100 a week. Fuck that, dog. You need money to invest in yourself. But I don't know where this spreading thin of like different avenues and hobbies comes from to make monetary gain. I believe that it probably comes from the belief that you can't reach the top of how unattainable that is. But let me finish off the video with one piece of advice. They build, I work on million dollar homes. I just finished a $20 million one I'm working on right now is only $2 million. Been to $7 million homes. They make these million dollar homes in neighborhoods with 20 other homes that people live there. There are 20 of them. There are 6 to 10 of these communities around. And there's probably more than just 10 homes in them. There's probably 20 homes probably like upwards of 20 25 homes really on the average <laughs> and they have about six seven eight of these neighborhoods in each major city this ain't including dubai this ain't including europe it's including just the u.s and not even any of the ranches or out outskirt rural places this is just the cities so there's room at the top dog you just have to fucking grind and get it keep on grinding old son it gets better dog Chase your fucking dreams. Chase paper as well. And chase and enjoy nature in the process. Have a good day.